<laughs> what is up my short heads? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Electric Bike Company's Model J and we're gonna be doing the first ride and review. I'm sinking further. How much deeper till I breathe the sea? Stop treading water. Amalgamation of everything you wish I'd be. What's wrong with this picture? This is the most custom electric bike we've ever had on the channel. Everything just stands out so nicely on this bike. And guys, check out Electric Bike Company's website and customize a bike of your own and send me a screenshot. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. These bikes are American made from Newport Beach, California. So if you guys are around that area, make sure you stop by and say what's up and tell them Shreddy sent you. Before we get started on this video, if you guys want to support the channel, check out that link down below for Electric Bike Company's Model J. Use code SHREDDY50, get $50 off your order. If Electric Bike Company isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. The Electric Bike Company's Model J starts at $12.99. Mine with all the upgrades costs $3,110. The Model J's frame is an aluminum 6061 hydro-formed frame. Here are the key specs. The motor has a nominal power output of 500 watts, while it's programmed for a maximum output of 750 watts Due to regulations, it has the potential for a maximum output of 1,250 watts. The Model J claims a max speed of 28 miles an hour. I also upgraded to the three 14 amp hour batteries. That's a total of 42 amp hours with an estimated range of 150 miles. We also have this banana style saddle, which I actually never complained in the review about my biscuits. The Model J electric bike comes with a five year warranty on the battery and an exceptional 10 10-year warranty on the frame and motor. The Model J weighs 53 pounds with one battery and can comfortably carry a maximum load of 420 pounds. The bike is suitable for riders between 5 foot and 6 foot 8. Right over here we have four piston tetra hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And check out my upgraded chain guard. This wooden chain guard is made in house. And for our pedal assist, I opted for the torque sensor and I also upgraded to the front fork adjustable suspension. The bike comes with a preset speed limit of 20 miles an hour, which can be unlocked by contacting electric bike company. And right over here, we're equipped with a large front round headlight and an integrated tail light for safety. We also opted for the front and rear turning signals. The Model J has a 58 tooth chain ring and 170 millimeter crank arms for higher speed pedaling. We're also equipped with 24 inch puncture resistant tires. The Model J also includes 100% stainless steel hardware and integrated bearings to resist rust and corrosion. And right over here, we have a multi-level compact LCD color screen with USB port. We also have waterproof wiring system, which simplifies maintenance and replacements. And right up here, we have a half twist throttle. You can also opt for a thumb throttle. The Model J offers extensive customization options, including color choices and the option to add a custom helmet with any logo or color. Now let's get started on the speed test. We're gonna start off mode five, full throttle. Let's go. All right, just so you guys know, I did ask them to put my rear brake on the left side. So, all right, we're gonna start off the speed test now. Saw 17.4 amps we're pushing. Let's get the speedometer app out. See what our top speed is at the end of this road. I do have like about 50 to 60 PSI in the tires. So this bike feels super duper nimble, guys. The takeoff isn't too crazy. It's pretty subtle. It's like 22.9 has been our top speed so far. We're going directly into the wind also. Don't kill me. All right, can we hit a jump? All right, looks like our top speed was 26.2 miles an hour. It seems like in every mode, it does change the speed for the throttle. So we're gonna chop this up quickly. So top speed mode one is about 10.1 miles an hour. All right, let's tap into mode two. Let's see what our top speed is. 15.8 miles an hour, mode two. Flap it up to mode three. Mode three top speed is 20.2 miles an hour. Check out this horn. All right, mode four, full throttle speed test. Let's see what our top speed is. All right, mode four top speed was 22.7 miles an hour. Let's put it into mode five. We do have a torque sensor. Let's see if we can get faster than 27 miles an hour. Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm gonna push it hard, as hard as I can. And we're perfectly flat right here, guys. Damn, I still have resistance at this speed with this huge sprocket on the front. Uh, my legs can't push past that. <laughs> I couldn't do it, guys. Actually, let's try the same speed test, mode five, and let's lock out the suspension. Can we get faster than 
27.2 miles an hour. Oh yeah, we're going faster. Yeah. Oh wow, locking it out. Ah, we hit 28.9 miles an hour. Speed tests are done. Let's do some fun hill climbing terrain tests. Maybe do some stairs. I don't even want to do this test because we do have a hard tail, but we always do the suspension test. I'm standing up. <laughs> Front's definitely handling it well, but that rear is bouncing like a maniac. <laughs> oh, not bad, not bad. Did just find out about the batteries. If you have them all turned on, it's gonna drain from the one with the most power. So they don't all have to be completely charged for the bike to run. You can run them one at a time or all three at the same time. So I'm thinking they're ran in series. Don't really wanna do this test with this bike because I like this bike so much and it's such a nice bike, but we gotta do the stair challenge, guys. All right, here goes nothing, guys. Keep your heels back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was not as bad as I expected. Yeah, we can definitely call that a success. Oh, uh, hill climb test hill, here we come. It looks like a 500 watt motor. I don't expect it to climb up this hill from a stop. Let's check it out. Uh, and that's it. Oh, it's holding us. Let's see how long it takes to let go. There it goes. All right, we're gonna hit the steepest part of this with some speed, if you call this speed, I guess. No, nope, not speed, not speed, oh! Definitely not enough torque. All right, cadence sensor, pedal assist five. And, oh, it was a little bit of a struggle, but we made it up. Can we make it through the deep sand? Probably not. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're going to the pack. What I love about the display is that it actually tells you how hot the controller is also. We're at 147 degrees Fahrenheit. Our voltage is down to 48.3 volts. We've done about 16 miles. All right, here we go. These tires are definitely, nope, <laughs> we're not doing it. Hey, we tested this for you guys. Any bike signs. We can definitely say that this bike wasn't made for the sand or the beach because of the tires and the power. Have you guys ever seen these things? They're called horseshoe crabs and they usually have a big pointy tail they're pretty cool though they're like prehistoric oh that would be sick <laughs> oh let's get a little freshy ah i know we can push more amps out of this controller but i'm not sure how much more we can push the controller is actually built into the bottom battery bracket but i wonder if we can push more than 17 and a half amps out of this thing yeah <laughs> so much fun if you guys can help me down in the comments isn't running batteries in parallel a little better than running them in series. That way they're all working together. So anyways, let's try to see if I can wheelie now. Ugh. Ugh. I need to let more air out. This bike is so freaking stable. Riding it without hands is super easy. Now let's see how these four piston Tektro hydraulic brakes hold up at 20 miles an hour. Oh, nice. They actually grab really well, and them guys at Electro Bike Company, they tune these brakes up so good. Why so many gnats? The highest watt output I saw on the controller was 853 watts. So I'm wondering if we can turn up that power too. What a fun day, what a fun review. <laughs> Make sure if you guys wanna see any more content on Electric Bike Company's Model J, let me know what you wanna see. Throw it in the comments down below. But we cannot end this video without the final test. Here it is, the church jump. <laughs> Definitely stay tuned for the three battery full throttle range test we're gonna be doing on a Model J coming very soon. I'm not sure if we're gonna get 150 miles. My guess is probably gonna be like 70 miles, I guess, with all three batteries. And again, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Electric Bike Company's Model J down in the comments below. And if you guys are excited for me to do the three battery full throttle range test on this electric bike. And as always, if you guys want a sports channel, check out that link down below for the Electric Bike Company's Model J. Use code TRADY50 to get $50 off your order. If Electric Bike Company isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. 
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next Model J ride. This one's for the shred heads. Whoa, let more, more pressure out. More pressure, whoa. Oh, for the shred heads. GoPro, stop recording.